the first place you want to start checking for a leak, and I like fast cars. <laughs> Okay, so here we are outdoors at our pond and let me talk to you about a little bit of a few things that you're going to be looking for once you are turning your pond back on, which most people have because our plants are really moving very quickly. But just a few maintenance tips. Your water changes. It's very important at the beginning of the season to do a really good clean out. So if your fish have overwintered, Hopefully you have some form of container. Take them out and give your entire pond a power wash down. That gets all the gum cut from the previous season and sets you up for a healthy pond this season. If that doesn't happen, you may struggle a lot with algae. Now the second part of that one, because <laughs> yes we are outside so we battle the elements. It's really cool today. The next part that most people encounter are leaks. They are inevitable, especially if you have a liner system and they're the greatest, biggest headache if you can't find it. So I'm gonna give you a few tips about leaks. First of all, when we come in, let's start here where we have our pumping system. So our pumps sit down in this well the water comes in from the, from, from the pond, comes into the sump area, and then goes all the way back up to the waterfall. So the first place you want to start checking for a leak, and I like fast cars, <laughs> are all your plumbing fittings. These are notorious, especially after winter, the freezing and the thawing, you're likely to have leaking points around where your fittings have connected. So check all your fittings, all your connection points, if anything loosened up, anything pulled off. The next big area for leaks, and I'm going to walk carefully and do my balancing act, is up at the waterfall. So you come with me, be outside. Now when you're checking for leaks on your pond, obviously don't check it on a rainy day. Because you'll never know the difference. Now we did this yesterday because we discovered that we actually had a leak with this exact pond. And where do you think we found it? Right here. So when you're able to come around, I'm gonna show you what happens with the biofalls if you have this type of system. The liner joins right at the face plate here and there are bolts on the side that actually connects it. This is a big leak point because if you're formed right around here, after winter, this can pull off. And so you'll have water that can come along the line and come up behind your liner. So we just found this leak, so we've been able to fix this. But these are the points you will always look, at the edges of where you've connected your liner and where you have your pump. So that's just a quick tip on just getting your pond started, having a healthy season, clean it out, check for your leaks, clean out your filters, put in some new biomedia and your bio starter, and you'll have a happy season. And that's my tip for today.